Would you like to learn how to quickly fold these butterflies yourself? Keep watching. Hi, my name is Tina. I am head of design of Victoria Designs. In this video, I like to explain how to fold these lovely paper butterflies. This is not new. There are many videos on YouTube how to make these, but most of them don't give any verbal explanation. And I promise I will be as verbal as I can. And I'm actually going to cheat a little bit too. Oh yes, if you like paper crafting like I do and you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, you're more than welcome to do so. And now without further ado, let me show you how to make these. So the first thing and about the only thing you're going to need is paper. Squares of paper. And the thinner the paper, the better it's going to go. Don't go using your heavy scrapbook paper. So the way that you can use for this is the regular type of paper that you put in your printer when you want to print a letter or something. So that is about 80 grams. Uh, you can use colored paper if you like, but I just used paper from a magazine because it's cheap, it's recycling, which I like very much. Now I have two sizes of papers. These are six by six inch, that's 15 by 15 centimeter. About, it's, it doesn't really matter, as long as they're square. And with what was left over from the page, I made five by five squares, that's 12 and a half by 12 and a half, about. So let me show you how to make these. This is so easy, this is so quickly. Place your square in front of you, and then fold one side to the other. So fold in half, like this and open up again. Turn 90 degrees and do the same. Fold in half, side to side. Make a very nice fold and open up again. Then, very important, flip upside down and turn it a little bit, 45 degrees, so you have a diamond in front of you instead of a square. Then we're going to do the same. Fold in half, this corner to that corner. So we're actually going to fold diagonals. This. Open up again, turn 90 degrees and do the same. Open up again. And now turn it back 45 degrees so you have your square back in front of you instead of your diamond. And then take the sides in the center. There are these folds here and fold them toward each other down until they meet and then fold the top on top. This should, thanks to the folds, go all, almost automatically. And now you have these two points on each side here. One, two, one, two. And now the next step is purely optional. We're going to get back here if you don't want to do that. Just Turn these two points to the other side as well. Take your scissors and cut a round corner. So just round this corner, that's all. You don't have to do that, but it just gives another outcome. Okay, put back down and put those two points back to there. So this is where we started before the cutting. Um, it looks just the same, but now the corners are rounded instead of uh, pointy. And now take one of the middle uh, points, let's call it points, and fold it up along the middle line. So line this side up with the center line and fold. These are going to be the bottom wings, by the way. Do the same with the other one. Line it up next to that first one and fold. And now I'm going to break a huge rule of origami, but I so do not care because this way my butterflies are going to stay together instead of fall apart after a while. So turn over, take a piece of tape and tear off like, I don't know, an inch, two centimeters, two and a half. Doesn't really matter. Piece like this. And put it this way as close to the tip as possible without going, without uh, tape showing outside the butterfly. So as close to the tip as possible down along the center line. Like this. Like this. 
remove the backing. So and now bend this butterfly like this and bend the tip so it reaches over the top of the butterfly. So if I hold it sideways, you will see it's, it's, it's bended, it's a curve here. And that's, that's what makes the butterfly uh, look 3D. So make sure it look, it's about a quarter of an inch or even three eighths of an inch, about a small centimeter or a little less perhaps. Um, it shows over the butterfly and then fold over that top and really squeeze because that's, that's where you've uh, put that tape. Like this, and this isn't going anywhere. And then the only thing you have to do is Hold this a bit, a bit longer and fold the butterfly, the top part, in half, like this. Just really squeeze that, fold it in half. So you see where I'm holding it? Just squeeze, 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 squeeze. And there we go, we have a beautiful butterfly. What happens when I make these most of the time? This pew, shoots loose and my butterfly is gone. And that's why I'm using tape so and that's how you make it i have made a bunch of these like this this one's actually made with a uh, newspaper so it's even lighter this one's made with tracing paper so it's a bit translucent i was experimenting with different types of paper with this one the corners are cut but a little bit more pointy so you can really vary how you make these and if you make a bunch of these you can use them to decorate your house for example you can take a thread and needle and you can just poke through here somewhere through the middle of the uh, butterfly or through the wing or something and make a knot of course and then you can make long buntings with butterflies and hang them on your chandeliers or on your window before your windows yeah that's, that's super cute for your neighbors to look at and um actually everywhere in your house that you want to have some spring feeling there you can add them. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this quick video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you like, you can share this video with all the friends that you think might like this as well. And as always, I wish you a very good day. Bye-bye, everyone.